Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good Monday morning, Utah. Time is currently 613. Here's a live look outside in Cedar City with our Southern Utah University camera network. It's cold, but we're getting to that point where we can see the glow over the horizon. It just continues to happen earlier and earlier because the days continue to get longer and longer. So while Southern Utah is quiet, that's not the case in Northern Utah. Here's the view from Ogden Nordic in Liberty, where we do have some snow falling throughout the Wasatch back as we're actually tracking some snow showers in the northern portion of the state. Temperatures at this point are mainly in the teens and 20s while seeing George is the warm spot currently checking in with a temperature of 44. We're looking at a band of snow showers moving in from the west and we've been talking about this all morning. They were over in the West Desert earlier. Now they're approaching the I-15 corridor, and we are still seeing some of those residual showers in the northern Wasatch Front. But as these continue to move from west to east, with temperatures below freezing, it doesn't take a lot of snow to create some issues out on the roadway. So if you're traveling across northern Utah this morning, building some extra time just in case. And we're also watching some snow showers moving throughout portions of Uinta and Grand Counties that are pulling their way over towards Colorado. So this morning, we do have a few spots out there that could see some impacts out on the roadways, and you can see most of the the I-15 corridor, even from some of the snow that we saw last night, could be looking at moderate impacts. And this is going to continue through 10 o'clock this morning, this travel alert from UDOT. So this morning, while it might not be the case everywhere where we're having those rough roads, it could be the case in some spots. So just building that extra time for that morning commute. Your dog walking forecast includes Max, and he's looking at the weather saying, I'll just wait until any chance of snow comes to an end. That best chance of snow, at least along the Wasatch Front, will be from the morning into the early afternoon. And then by this afternoon, we'll mainly check in with partly to mostly cloudy skies, just a slight chance this afternoon with temperatures climbing into the mid and upper 30s. That best chance definitely from now through around 9 o'clock clock this morning. As we look at our daytime highs for today, most of us in northern Utah will see a mix of 20s and 30s. And as you make your way into central and southern Utah, you'll start to see a few more 40s and 50s on the map. Upper 30s along the Wasatch Front, while on the Wasatch Back, daytime highs will be in the upper 20s and low 30s. These temperatures are roughly 10 degrees or more below our seasonal averages. So it's going to be a chilly day for this early March day, as we'll see daytime highs in the mid to upper 30s in the Uinta Basin, as Roosevelt could see a daytime high of 40. In central Utah, we'll see a daytime high of 52 in Green River, 41 in Embry, and 41 in, em in Richfield. Then down in southern Utah, we'll see a daytime high of 41 in Torrey, 42 in Monticello. St. George will see a daytime high of 58, while Lake Powell will likely lead the way at 62. In southern Utah, we'll mainly see partly cloudy skies. In central and southern and northern Utah, that's going to be our best chance of wet weather. Let's go ahead and begin the future cast and time things out for you. We'll start this at 7 o'clock this morning, and by 7 o'clock, the forecast model likes most of the showers at that point, favoring the northern Wasatch Front into Cache Valley and in the high country with most of those showers coming to an end, at least along the Wasatch Front. But that chance won't be able to be completely discounted even through the early afternoon as we'll still hold on to that chance for isolated snow showers. As we go from late this afternoon to this evening, calmer conditions, partly cloudy skies. But as we go through the next few days, we'll continue to see waves of moisture and waves of energy. Nothing too significant, but it will keep us slightly unsettled. See a chance for some snow showers in northern Utah through tomorrow morning. And then we'll be looking at more of the same from our Tuesday into our Wednesday with this chance for isolated showers out there and with temperatures slightly warmer thanks to a southerly flow by tomorrow into Wednesday, especially in the afternoon hours a better chance that we see rain in our valleys than a chance of seeing mainly snow. Nothing ex nothing too significant when it comes to our expected future cast snow, but some mountains over the next few days could pick up several inches of snow plus, and we'll always take all the fresh snow that we can get. In St. George, we'll go from the upper 50s today to the low to mid 60s through the middle of the week, a chance of isolated rain showers on Thursday with a little bit more potent system working its way through. As we move into the weekend, calmer conditions as temperatures warm up fairly quickly could be back in the mid to upper 60s over the weekend down in St. George. Then along the Wasatch Front, isolated snow showers out there today with that best chance this morning, a daytime high only in the upper 30s. Slight chance for both Tuesday and Wednesday. Daytime high is about 10 degrees warmer compared to what we find out there this afternoon. Then isolated rain, snow showers on Thursday. Temperatures ease down just a little bit to end the work week. All for those temperatures to warm up fairly quickly this weekend. She'll be back in the 50s by Sunday.